Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and I'm going to show you today how to have both your stable version of DaVinci Resolve 15 and the beta version of 16 on your machine at the same time. So stay right there. We'll be right back. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do when I launch DaVinci Resolve 15 is I'm going to go to my projects. I'm going to click on this icon up here in the upper left. I'm going to right click, or not right click, I'm sorry. I'm going to go up to uh, this icon here and do a backup. So I have a backups folder here, and I'm going to save a backup of my database just to be on the safe side. And I did export each of these uh, projects, and then I created a new database. And in this new database, I restored the projects that I want to keep working on in 15. All right, so I've got that done, and I'm going to quit that. And I have Resolve 16 here, and unfortunately it says Resolve 16 manual. And when you open that, it is actually the Resolve 15.3 manual that has not been updated so that doesn't really uh, help you with some of the new features yet. But let's go ahead and install DaVinci Resolve 16.0.0 beta. We'll go ahead and continue. Oh, one very important thing I need to do here. I'm going to go to my hard drive. Uh, now this should work on Windows as well. I can't guarantee it, but uh, we are going to do it here on uh, the Mac system. So my DaVinci Resolve folder, I'm going to rename this to DaVinci Resolve 15. Okay, now I should be clear to go ahead and do my install. And let's see what happens. Now it should create a new folder called DaVinci Resolve and I should it will keep my DaVinci Resolve 15. The problem is when I run it, it's going to ask me to update my database. And that's where things are going to get ugly very quickly if you don't do this properly. All right, so I've got that installed. Now I have DaVinci Resolve, which is 16, and DaVinci Resolve 15. So I can still run 15, no problem, because I haven't ran 16 yet. Well, let's go ahead and open up 16. And come on. All right, so I'm going to, there's DaVinci Resolve Studio 16 running. And again, I'm doing it with Studio. This same steps should work with the free version. And now it's coming up. Do I want to upgrade my database? And I'm going to go cancel. Now, the local database, which I have already set up uh, that had existing projects in it, and then I created the other database that I imported the stuff into. So I'm going to take this lo local database, and say upgrade. All right. Now, when I open these guys up, everything should work. Okay, there's the new cut page. So I am in 16, it says resolve 16 down on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and quit that. And I'll make sure, okay, it's completely quit out. I'm gonna go to 15 and I'll run DaVinci Resolve 15. Okay, now notice it did select this other one, failed to initialize red decoder. I'm not surprised that it did that because that red decoder was probably upgraded with 16. So it's probably something I'm gonna to have to deal with. I had it, the same issue going from like 12 to 14 or something. Um, so I've seen this in the past. So now this local database is incompatible, but my Resolve 15 database is still here. So I can go ahead and close that and open up DaVinci Resolve 15 and see the cut page is gone. I am in 15. So it's a couple steps, 
but if you want to have both 15 and 16 installed at the same time so you can try out the beta features and not kill off your working copy of Resolve, this is the way to do it. So hopefully this uh, is going to help some of you get up and running with DaVinci Resolve 16 beta uh, and uh, enjoy it. So thank you for watching. This has been Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve. Be sure and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we put out a new video. If, as always, leave your comments below and uh, I'll be doing a whole series of videos on DaVinci Resolve 16 coming up. So watch for that stuff. S stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.